Democratic Party is the oldest political party in Uganda spanning from 1954 before Uganda attained independence. Over the years, many of its dissatisfied members like Beth Nambozi and Elias Rukwago, who deferred on ideology with the party president Nobat Mao, have defected to form factions like SUBI. There have been efforts at reuniting, for example, in 2018, when the Uganda Young Democrats held grand meetings that brought many of the party members together. These attempts failed. Now, the DP legal advisor Elias Nalkola Luimba says that Mao signing an agreement with the ruling party to cooperate is a waste of time. General Museveni has been challenged by entering into such a transaction where he is purchasing hot air. Nothing, absolutely nothing was brought to you by Honorable Nobat Mao and Dr. Siranda. If it is true that you intended to enter into an agreement for purposes of cooperation between DP and NRM, because there is no way you can enter into such an arrangement without consent and all knowledge of the party organs. Luimbazu was elected as the National Legal Advisor of DP at the 2020 National Delegates Conference in Gulu argues that this move places the party in bad light but opens the door for a new crop of leaders. The members of the Democratic Party will invoke their powers and do away with the Honorable Nobat Mao. The lawyer argues that the agreement will only be enjoyed by two individuals. The same cannot even be ratified by my political party because it has never been originated by the party. Elias Lukwago, who eventually joined the Forum for Democratic Change, told NTV he is not surprised by Mao's actions. The kind of uh, insults they held against us were really too much. Uh, but I feel I've been vindicated personally. I've been exonerated. Uh, and, uh, the warning signs were in the wall. So what should have been done? Should have taken a decision and said, look here. I'm honorably retiring from the party leadership and I'm handing over all the instruments of authority or everything that comes with the office of the party president and individually in his own right joining the NRM. Other former members of DP weighed in. You're talking about a cooperation between M7 and Mao. Cooperating to do what? To continue subjecting Ugandans to the alarming levels of poverty, human rights abuse. Finally, he has come out. Because uh, we, when I was still in DP, this was the case. He was dilly darling with the NRM. According to the DP's legal team, they are going to cause the National Executive Committee to sit and give a fair hearing to DP's President Nobatimao and the Secretary General. And it will be during that very meeting that they will decide what kind of punishment they are going to give the two. And in case they fail to convince the committee, one of the punishments is dismissal. And if the NEC doesn't sit, then there is an option of challenging the undertakings in court. And now it remains a waiting game to see what will transpire in the future. Sidil Yarhanga, NTV.